y'all. You know we came out here. I need you all to come register the boat. I'm Jabari Banks, actor, artist, and musician. Best known for bringing the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air back to life. Today, I've been invited to take part in Mandela Day. Nelson Mandela is a global icon. He spent his entire life fighting for freedom, equality, and justice, and brought an end to apartheid in South Africa. Every year on Nelson Mandela's birthday, July 18th, people in South Africa partake in an act of service for their community, inspired by his legacy. My grandfather was the architect behind Mandela Day, but it's really about getting involved, getting dirty, put on your gumboots, put on some gloves, and going out there. This year, myself and five other celebrities will be taking Mandela Day global by joining forces with the Nelson Mandela Foundation and undertaking our own acts of service in communities across the world. Are you good to vote? The Africans require, want the franchise on the basis of one man, one vote. They want political independence. Being denied the right to vote goes against one's human rights, not only in South Africa, but it has happened even in America. When Nelson Mandela was born in 1918, almost all black South Africans did not have the right to vote. As a young man, he took on this fight for equality and sacrificed 27 years of his life to prison as a result. In 1994, he finally won. So it is our responsibility, young people, to get out there and vote. My grandfather says, let your choices reflect your hopes and not your fears. Young Jack in the streets want to take over with Miss Shanika right here. Shouty, shouty, and of course, Young Jack. So this morning, we have a bright young star, Jabari <laughs> Banks. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Nice to speak with you all. How are you? I know. Very nice to have you with. Thank been you. Seeing your your star just really explode in the past year. Yeah, it's been a wild ride so far, and I love it. I love it. We have to talk about the huge initiative that you are here to talk about voting. Yes. In Atlanta. Yes. So tell us all about. Yes, I am here for the voter registration drive at Rose Circle Park from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. Be there or be square. It's going down. It's going down. I've come to Atlanta, Georgia, ahead of midterm elections, to volunteer at a voter registration drive. It's important to help activate young people to vote because we are the future. and have to change the idea that in our community, voting doesn't really matter. In 2021, the outcome of Georgia's Senate elections literally changed who made the laws of this country. The reason for this change was the high turnout of my fellow Gen Z African Americans, many voting for the very first time. With more elections later this year, I'm here to remind them that every vote still matters. It's important for me to use my profile in a positive way because I want to be able to blaze a path in the same way that my heroes have done for me. I feel like our generation is a generation for change, and so if I can help in that way in any way possible, I definitely will. I actually casted my first vote in 2020. My mom made me come out and vote, and that was, that was super dope to see a lot of young people actually um, voting, and it really opened my eyes to the power that I had in sharing my voice. Another reason I'm keen to get to the park is to meet Sierra and Gavin, two people who do a lot more than just turn up to vote. They are two of the volunteer activists at today's drive. Yo, hey. what's going on, y'all? Hey. Hey. Sierra, hey. nice to meet nice you. To meet you. Gavin, so, right, what's going on, man? My name is Gavin Kelly. I just turned 19. I'm a honors computer information systems major at Howard University. Just finished my freshman year, and voting rights is something that I truly do believe in and passionate. Taking part in my first voting drive, I can get more people to cast their vote, and I can also really engage with my community, and that's something I take a lot of pride in. My name is Sierra Malone. I'm 23 years old, and I am a voting rights organizer in Atlanta, Georgia. When I graduated, I cared a lot about making sure that I was helping minority communities and especially being involved in politics and ensuring that we had elected leaders that were creating change that we wanted to see in those communities. Okay, dope, dope. Well, I'm, I'm here to help any way I can. Um, set up some tents, cut off some shirts. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. Hold on, before we do it, hands in, hands in right here. Right. Team Mandela on three, right? <laughs> One, two, three, Team Mandela! Oh, you got to turn it on. 
Yo, yo, okay, there we go. We're in business now, okay? All right. Yeah, we got all. No, none of that. Uh. Okay, my bad. My fault. <laughs> we are all here today with a voter registration organization called Headcount, who have registered more than one million young voters since 2004. Headcount is a nonprofit. We do voter registration drives just like this, but we specifically focus on concerts and festivals. So we're really trying to bridge the gap of young people who are going to concerts and festivals Got you. and then the political aspect of what the younger generation is doing right now. That's incredible. Yeah. You know, I do music too, so whenever I have my concert, y'all got to come through. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, oftentimes, like, the best spokesperson is somebody that's actually recognizable. Yeah. Because yeah. when we're talking about voting and stuff, it can be very informational. Mm -hmm. But when we have like somebody that can like, communicate and really express what we're trying to do, man, it's so important. So, yo, that's like, what I'm here for. Truly, truly, Seriously. we appreciate we appreciate the love. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. Guys, come on. Oh, are those not guys? I can't be doing all the work, all right, guys? I need, <laughs> I need some teamwork here, okay? It's so important for young people of colour across the world to have the right to vote, primarily because, unfortunately, black communities tend to be marginalised and made invisible, even to this day. And so for young people to come forward and to use their vote in order to influence politics in their country is a tool of self-determination, which was one of the principles that Nelson Mandela taught. We have noticed that when you are apathetic, when you don't vote, when you decide, ah, nothing's gonna change anyway, what happens is the very same things that make it very difficult for your life to take form in the way it's supposed to, those things only grow, those things only increase. When young people exercise the right to vote, they begin to opt into a system where they are able to see their, their world transform, right? Oftentimes it is so slow, but advocacy and freedom is a constant journey. We gotta keep banging at that door. Mimi, you registered to vote? You registered? All right. You right? Okay, okay, just making sure. You got some forms right here. We're gonna get y'all right. We got some pins, we got some dope shirts. As my fellow volunteers know, a voter drive on its own doesn't always attract the crowds, but add some music and you attract attention. All right, y'all, you know we came out here. I need you all to come register the vote. We got some t-shirts, we got some pins, we got a lot of paraphernalia. Let's get your name on this list. So why did you guys come here today? Uh, honestly, I heard about it on your Instagram. Oh, really? Yeah. On my Instagram? Yeah. Oh, that's what's up. Okay, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> We love that. That's what's so up. I was that's like, I gotta come. I gotta come by. Got you. So at first you thought you were registered. I wanted to double check because I right. just switched over my license and I haven't got the actual hard copy yet. So I wanted okay. to make sure that I actually was registered. Okay. In Georgia, Strict voter ID requirements mean students living away from home often don't have the documents needed to get registered. We have all the info here. This is the best way to do it. And it's great. You found out through Jabari. Yeah. It's like, yeah. you just registered with Jabari. Like, that's, that's so fire. cool. That's fire. We got to click, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. That'd be dope. Right, we got a small and a medium. Thank, Thank you. you. Mm -hmm. We're all set? Yes. 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 Nice and registered? Yeah. Yes. Thank you guys so much. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, her over there with the bandana, I don't think she registered. Yeah. No, yo, there you go. Right there. Come on, come on. Come register. And you didn't register the vote yet? No, I haven't. Okay, okay. I haven't, but I'm gonna get it together. Um, like I, I don't know, like what's the first step? What should I do? Like you gotta talk to them. They'll they'll get you right. They'll get you right. Yeah, they're the experts. Yeah. Sierra works for Campus Vote Project. They work to remove barriers to student voting for minority and underrepresented groups across the country. When I was younger, I was obsessed with the Barack Obama campaign that happened in 2008, right? Seeing someone that looked like me, being able to hold that position in office was really important. And I don't think before that, I had an understanding that that was possible, especially in a state like Georgia, where a lot of our elected leaders didn't look like me. Gen Z is hands down the most diverse pool of voters the United States has ever seen. Nearly 40% of voters who were 18 to 24 in the 2020 election were non-white. 
and this percentage is increasing. So have you seen like young black voters in Atlanta come out to vote? Uh, 100%. Yeah. In 2020, we had the highest youth voter turnout that we've ever had in the history of like Georgia voters. And Got so you. that was really exciting. And now, so now you're trying to, to keep up the momentum. At the heart of Campus Vote Project is to make sure that young people have access to the ballot box and that youth voter turnout continues to go up every year. It's a big challenge. Since the historic high turnout of 2020, many believe the new regulations in Georgia have made access to the ballot box harder for young people. Along with the ID requirements, this includes restrictions on the number of ballot drop boxes, one of the main methods young people use to cast their votes. I can definitely understand why Nelson Mandela spent his whole life fighting for voting rights. I think that a lot of the work that I do is fueled by love as well, because I love my community, because I love my family, because I love black people. Justice, all power to the yes. people. That's fire. Can okay. you get a close up on that? <laughs> Libra's like yeah. signs or the scales of justice. They're mm. usually like known to be like political leaders, like they're good at mediating. I okay. feel like it fits me good. So it's all lined up. Yes. It's, up. it's important that young people do not waste this opportunity that you've been given that many thousands of people fought for to say that I vote for this particular party because I believe they are going to address the concerns that I have for this country. He's trying to register twice. Do you have a phone here? We can scan this. You are registered. Got sir, are you mad? Well, yeah, Gavin, no. I need you to use this, <laughs> and I need you to get some people over here to vote. Come on, over here. You ready to vote yet? You are. Already registered. Why are you so passionate about voter registration? I saw my great grandfather. He was a Tuskegee Airman, World War II. When he came back from the war, he decided to get involved in this community. You know, with voting and voter registration. He was in a predominantly black county in Alabama. Like, it's a family thing but it's also a community thing. I gotta keep a legacy going. Yeah. Growing up, I had a variety of heroes. MLK, Malcolm X, Angela Davis, Tupac Shakur, my great-grandfather and my father. These are a lot of people who have shown me the importance of strength. Here's your great-grandfather and the rest of his crew, Tuskegee Airmen. In those days, People like him getting poor black people registered to vote could get you killed, and some people were killed. The KKK bombed your great-grandfather's office because of the work he was doing to get poor black people registered to vote in Lowndes County, Alabama. And it was such a scary situation, and it didn't stop him. It's all you. Thankfully, voter registration drives are a lot more fun today than they were in the 60s. This one even comes with its own t-shirt and pen merchandise. The most important thing is that you actually do go out there and vote, you know, because we don't want to be bystanders, you know. At the end of the day, this is our world and we're living in it, and you want to participate in the decisions. It is imperative that we do more than tweet, that we do more than Instagram about the things that we see in the world that we want to change. If we don't fight against efforts to disenfranchise us, and if we don't exercise that right, we are allowing ourselves to be put in positions that leave us vulnerable to the violation of our rights. If voting was not that important, why is there such a concerted effort to suppress the voting rights of so many Americans. Today has been a great success. Thank you all for voting. Myself and my fellow volunteers have registered Gen Z voters and kicked off countless more conversations on why we all must use our right to vote. You like to vote? Are you good to vote? If not, no. Yo, we got some fraternity steppers here from Georgia State University. Give it up for them, y'all. Give it up, give it up, give it up, give it up. Give it up, give it up, give it up, give it up. We are the brothers. I'm feeling really positive about the future and proud to be a part of this generation. If these guys are anything to go by, we are going to make the world a better place. Just as long as we all remember to turn out and vote. The first democratic elections 
of South Africa, 1994. What a monumental moment. And finally, your dream of having elections before come true. This was definitely one of his best days.